Hello and welcome to a new episode of Alpine Engineering Questions and Answers. In today's episode, we're going to continue what we started in the previous one, which is to reinforce this 3D stairs created previously with uh, the latest functions from Alpine Engineering 2017. So let's have a look on how we do it. We will continue with the example started last episode. So we're going to zoom in now at the 3D model that was created previously. And we'll have to use the associative views that we find in this engineering module called engineering views and details. I will generate a section through one of the flight of stairs and position here the result. And now there is some extra step that needs to be done in order to use the free form. So I will need to build a construction line using the basic module. I'll go for line. And I'm going to unite these corners of the stair. So it provides me a virtual formwork that would help me define all the bars that I need. So let's go back to the engineering module. Choose bar shape. We can input here some parameters for the reinforcement. I'll use V10 and I will choose freeform bar. We have a concrete cover of two and a half centimeters and I will activate this expand to edge option. I will just follow along the formwork and as you see the software will adapt to whatever shape I am creating. So I will just start with some part. I will start the reinforcement of the stairs from the top area and then go and land at the bottom area. You see I don't need to make the clicks too precise, it's just near the formwork and the software automatically determines the best shape. This can be mark number one. And I will choose not to place it now. So no linear or individual placement will be done. I'll just hit escape and continue with another form. So I can provide here some additional reinforcement. I'll start from the bottom, then go to this area. And I can uh, also land this here and continue in this area, hit escape. So I created a new shape. I'll use the mark as well. I won't place it either. And there's another bar needed in this node to close this ROM because this is the way we have to make sure to do at the joint of a stair to make sure that we form a rhombic section based using three reinforcement because this is how we prevent the concrete to get out of this angle. So we make sure that in case of deflections and rotations around this node, we don't have um, exposed concrete or the concrete does not get outside of its shape. So let's do this. I'll use a thicker diameter. I'll use V14. And I'll make sure also that I have enough anchorage length. For gravitational purposes, usually we have negative bending moment in this area. So I will choose this shape position its label and do something similar in this area. So in order to close this rhombic shape, I will continue with bar shape, go through this area and just move it like this and ensure I have enough anchorage. Still, I will use a bigger diameter, V14, hit escape and position this label again. So this is what we expect from transversal reinforcement. I can also squeeze in here a stirrup. So I can position here a stirrup. So I position all the bars without having to place them yet. Better have a bit of patience for the placement. I'm also to provide some transversal reinforcement. So I need some reinforcement perpendicular to this one. I will go to bar shape. 
I will choose here a straight bar. So if I don't want to see the titles, I'll just open this selection and choose from this list straight bar. And only for straight bars, I will find this nice feature called straight bar as point. I will use V8 for these three bars. And I can start with positioning a bar here, for instance. You'll see that you get a snap around the bars. So I will position one bar here, hit escape. So this will be mark number six. And I will start copying it. So I'll use just the basic copy function. Click on the center of it, and I'll assume it's eight bars in this direction, and the distance is 15 centimeters. So I created this uh, reinforcement. I'll delete what is extra, and I can just copy this rows on the lower level. And if I need any extra, it's no problem just to copy them using this positioning. So this is how I ensure I keep the same spacing. So as you know, bars are something very free in all plan engineering. So we can just treat them as 2D objects, copy them around and position them exactly as we need. So we are not limited by parameters that have been implemented. So I can even adjust them to be as if they are conformal. Maybe I'll start in this area. And if I want to place it in this angle, all I have to do is to go to Angle, Define, click on this area, and then say Copy. Select this bar, and it's the same philosophy. I have to pick up a point. Then I'll input the number of copies. I'll assume it's 28 and go in this area, 0.15, the spacing that I want. So we got pretty far, and I see no extra bars. So I can just copy this. Okay, so I have the mouse with the correct alignment, so it's very easy to position other rebars. I can go here with zero and just move this bar to this area. Maybe I want bigger reinforcements, no problem, just one click and I can provide here bigger reinforcement starting from the same bar. So it's very nice if we can do a lot of economy in our workflows. So we don't work that hard, but rather we work smart in all plans. So I will choose this as well and provide also this reinforcement. I'll take some additional bars from this area and provide it for the other slab. Okay, we can just uh, adapt to whatever we need here. Okay, and this was the most complex part. Now, the fun stuff that is available with our plan 2017. We have this option called extrude bars along path. So we'll do what it says. It says select reinforcing bars to extrude. So these are my reinforcement bars. I can choose a spacing, I can create regions, but for now I'm pleased with how these settings look. So all it asks me is an element for path. So I will choose this edge. I'll do one click on it. And that's it. Now we created a 3D reinforcement model for this first flight of stair. You might say we got away quite easy with it, but I will remind you that we have another flight of stairs and maybe we don't have this much patience to reinforce it as I shown you. So we want it to do faster, uh, judging by the fact that we already did one. So can we adapt this one to this one? Well, let's see if we can. So first of all, this is mirrored in on both directions. So I will have to use here, copy a mirror, filter by steel grade, select the steel grade. Now I will have to 
right click here, say midpoint, go in this area, go vertically, and I managed to do something, but not all that is required yet. So I will need another mirroring around an, a different area. So we'll also do that now. I will say mirror, filter again by reinforcement. And I will use this point, these two points with midpoint as symmetry line. And I invert it. So there's only a problem of elevation now. So for that, I will create a second section going in the same area, same direction. And to have a good precision, I will use an offset line. So I create my uh, concrete cover using an offset. So this is just a construction line. I will now say move, filter by steel grade and select this. I will just translate this and make sure that I am within the concrete cover and I'm still within the nodes within the ramp. Okay. I can keep uh, this for anchorage because here is where we continue. But here also we'll have to make some small changes. So I will just add some new bar numbers, so it's new mark bar, to make sure that these will be individual, also this one, and we don't get any mixture with the original one. Also, I don't want this tira, so I will hold shift and select the tira and delete the longitudinal reinforcement, and now there's a trick to do. I will use stretch entities and filter by reinforcement steel grade. Select this. And then I'll have to move this area while maintaining the angle. So I will say define. So I'm using this angle and I can see in the preview how the reinforcement is going. And I adapted the reinforcement on this direction, but also we don't respect yet the concrete cover, so we can still do further. I can use zero degree for the selection of this bar. But if I want to maintain this slope, I have to go back to angle, click on this, and now move along this path. So I adapt to the new uh, distribution. The missing bars, it's no problem, we just copy them. Okay, so it took less time to adapt. So imagine if you have several reinforcements uh, in your building, it's no problem to adapt and uh, to have um, to recycle stair details that you use throughout any of your projects. So it will be very effective work and you will not hate doing stair reinforcement anymore. I just want to take care of this. Uh, the syrup I deleted would have been very useful here because usually where the landing intersects the slab, we get some concentrations of effort, so some stress concentrators. So it's very good that we provide some additional combination and some extra strength in this area. But you see that we can just combine also the typical functions that we know from all fan, and I can do that trick again of taking one reinforcement from here and changing here its diameter and then mirror it or I will just move this one as I said everything is so flexible with all plan we can just treat them as ordinary objects and we get what 
we require. Okay, so it took us 15 minutes to reinforce 3D of two flights of stairs, but the problem is uh, we're in the 21st century and I said I'm going to show you the latest features of 2017 and 15 minutes is too much. Is there a faster way to do this reinforced stairs? Let's see. About Python part. They are the latest technology in developing graphical objects that know how to interact. And OPAN has quite a few here. We have to go to library and we'll go to the default folder, but make sure in this filter you have Python part selected. So let's go to the default Python part and I will choose engineering and I have here a bunch of objects for bridges, but also for stairs, we have here stair builder and different types of stairs. So I'll just pick this example, drag and drop this one. And you already you can see in the preview how it looks like. If you just want to change the angle of it, you just have to input here, for instance, 90 degrees. And then we have parameters. I can control the any dimension that I want, either by parameters or I can just use these nice handles that gives us a better feeling. So height also can be adjusted, length, width, and it's already reinforced for us. If we double click on it, all parameters will appear again and I can choose how I like either if I want to use bar shapes or what diameters I'm going to use, what details, what anchorage needs to be done. And also the shape types, everything is easily controlled from this. So we can select the shapes type that we want to insert inside our stairs. So we see how easy it is. And in case changes occur, well, things are very easy to handle. Things like this can be easily adjusted, so we can do the reinforcement quite fast. So, as always, thank you for watching. And if you want more episodes and to get in touch with the latest innovations in Allplan and CA Engineer, Please subscribe to my channel to get all this information. Also, if you have any suggestions or you have any topics for me, you can just leave a comment here and I will prepare in future episodes the answers for you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.